Hello. Um, this is me trying on some of my other stuff that came. This is the headpiece. I'm not really sure. This is the bow, but I'm not really sure if it's supposed to go like this or not. I tried to cut the fringe. Like, I tried to cut the, the fringe, but I think I don't think I did a good job. I, I'm not happy with it. Like, not entirely. I think I fucked up. I also got this cute little bunny that I got from Etsy. And it's a little handmade bunny bag. It's really, really cute. As you can see it. Beanie. And it's got these really nice, um, these pearls. So, like, oof, just whacked myself. Everything's gone wrong today, but yeah. So you just sort of... It's really, really nice. Um... And it's handmade, so you know it's going to be... It was made with love and and care. The love and intensive care. Oh, my God. <laughs> just that just scraped across my keyboard. I don't want to damage this because it's so nice. This headpiece, I'm not sure about it, though. I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be. I'm, I'm just... I'm really not sure if I'm, like, supposed to put it at this side. But, like, it doesn't go the way of the bands, so it doesn't go that way. It's harder to do with the camera. It's very extra. And I like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is the wig. Um, it's from Modokawa, which is like a Japanese site, I think. And it just does like cosplay stuff, but it also does like little wigs. And it also does like kawaii fashion as well. Um, I also got this, this really nice necklace that I also uh, got from Etsy. So it's like a little little donut necklace it's really cute um now let me try and put it on just with this fringe i don't, uh, with this wig i don't think i'm gonna be able to get it on but i'm gonna try oh my god it's stuck to my other necklace now Shit. i like the wig but like it's been causing me some trouble i spent ages trying to cut the fringe and the fringe looks kind of a mess right now. It needs. I did straighten it, by the way, but it didn't really. I didn't want it on a high heat because I was worried. I was worried about putting it on heat. But this is the cute necklace, and I think it would look nice with um, a cord. If I put it with my first cord, to just look cute. But first, I've got to wait until this stupid lockdown is over because I need to sort out my JSK as it's too big around the shoulders it keeps falling off my shoulders I have stupidly small shoulders and everything fucking falls off them it makes me look like I'm flashing but I'm not and my blouse is way too big like way too big and I can only get a small they didn't have extra small people think it's hard to find things for like bigger girls but you know petite girls struggle too like petite girls have their struggles too you know sometimes things are too big for us even the smallest of sizes are too big and yes you can take things in but if you don't know how to sew it's a pain in the ass if you don't know how to sew and do diy it's hard like you have to find someone else to do it and obviously if you're at home and you do it you can if you can sew then you can do it but for the ones that can't we have to wait until quarantine's over and that could take forever so and i really want to wear my dress like i've tried it on i tried blazing they're just too big and they just kept falling off and it looked I looked so it looked awful like it looked the the uh, JSK is nice but it just it just kept slipping off my shoulders really fucking annoying and it didn't have like adjustable straps over so I couldn't adjust I had shearing at the back at least though I think I think did have shearing pretty sure that one had shearing shearing yeah i'm pretty sure it had that at the back it's hanging up at the moment because like i haven't been able to wear it so obviously it's too big around the shoulders everywhere else is okay it's just the shoulders it's always the freaking shoulders not just that but because i have small fucking tits everything just slides off there Luckily it's not, it's, um, I always get short of things because they go to my knees normally or just under them because I'm short as fuck as well, so. Uh, yeah, I know I understand, like, um, tall girls have problems and plus size girls don't get a lot of, um, like, a lot of clothes that fit them either. I know that, like, there are thing, not a lot of things. Personally, I think they should make things in all sizes for all different shapes and sizes. That would, if we lived in a world like that... 
we'd be better off when we take this, this off now. Because it's, as you can see though, this fringe. What is this fringe? Oh man, I've totally messed it up, haven't I? So I tried to straighten it a little bit with a low heat. Um, I did it with low heat because, um, you know, you don't want, I don't want, I didn't want to damage it. I didn't want to ruin it. But I don't know. I'm, it's a really, it was a nice wig. It's a nice wig, but I think I've ruined it. But I, cut, but I needed to cut a fringe because it was in my damn eyes. And, you know, you have to cut a fringe to your face. I don't normally do full fringes because, like, with my actual hair, I don't do full fringes. They don't, it doesn't suit my face. I have an oval shaped face and I find that side swept looks better. Like, side, yeah, like anything that's like to the side is just, it looks better on me personally. I always have a side part and, but yeah, I don't think it's awful. Like, it could be worse. And I do think the wig itself is really nice. It was stuck in transit for a little while, but it came. Um, I think it took like two or three weeks. Not bad, because some things can take months, you know? Some things do take months. So I'm grateful to get things that I, that I got already. I'm gonna take this necklace off, so it's starting to irritate my skin a little bit, actually. I don't think it's um, got nickel in it, but I've got very sensitive skin, so I do have to be careful. But if I put it over it, like, on with my cord, it will be fine. It will look fine if I put it with my cord, I think. Oh my god, it's my hair's fallen out. Well, not my actual hair, this this hair. The wig's hair has fallen out. My actual, I'm not going bald. Yet. One day, if I keep itching my scalp all the time, I'll go bald. From all that freaking eczema. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> I really like everything, don't get me wrong, I do like it, I especially love this little neck because it's so cute. But yeah, I will be wearing these with cold, like when I get more stuff together. I have actually ordered another couple of dresses, I ordered another dress, I gave in and I was sort of no pee. Um, I have a problem, and I probably should stop because I'm going to go broke, I need to stop. I have about as much restraint as a Labrador about to go on a walk, like I have very little restraint. Um, when it comes to the thing, the same thing with plush toys, like I have such little restraint and it's, it's also the same thing with makeup as well. I like plush toys, I like makeup and I'm into the fashion so now I'm binging on that. So it's like, oh, uh, like I keep browsing sites and stuff and I really shouldn't because that's terrible. That's because it tempts me, like I'm urged and <laughs> it's terrible. I need to stop. But yeah, I love, I love the little bum bum. He's so cute. And the person, like the seller, uh, the one who messaged me, they messaged me, they were really nice. I've had good service so far, but yeah. Mm. I like this little baby bun, it's very cute. It's very, very adorable. And I'll definitely be wearing it out with my cords. And showing it off when, um, when I put them together. And, <clears throat> you know, yeah. So, that'd be good. <laughs> But yeah, I don't, I don't know what, quite what to do with this. It has like this at the back, and then it has this, and I'm not really. I said put something else with it to kind of help, but I don't. I'm not really sure. I don't think it'll be like that. Mm. But yeah, I'm still like in terms of wearing Lolita, I'm new to it. I mean, I've already known about Lolita for. Like I said, I've known about for 10 years or so. And I was 15 then, and now I'm 25. <laughs> but, um, I never wore it before now. And I, I still, I'm not wearing Lolita now because I don't have everything yet and I want to get everything together. I don't just want to wear the one thing because I feel like just wearing the JSK on its own. Just, like, unless it was no P, it's one thing. But I do think, like, JSKs and blouse do look good together. Like, I feel like you've got to wear a blouse with it. Or something, because I feel like I know in Japan sometimes they wear JSKs without blouses, but I suppose in the West we tend to put blouses with them. And OPs, you don't have to wear a blouse if you've got an OP. So, but a lot of people find them harder to co-ord with. I personally think an OP would be easier. It would be an easier option, and that's why I got one. And almost all the all things I ordered have been blue, <laughs> because I do like blue. Though, I do also like red and purple. I like, yeah, I like kind of, I'm not really one for pink colourways. I'm more for lavenders and blues. And like, 
and also violet and uh, like red. Those are kind of more my colours. Also green. I like green as well. But yeah, I'm and yellow actually. I like yellow as well. But yeah, I don't. I don't really do pink. Like I don't hate it. I just it's not what I gravitate towards normally in terms of like what I wear. It's the same thing with makeup. I don't wear a lot of pink makeup. Like unless it's blush, obviously, and like. I don't go for red blush because that doesn't look, pink looks better on me and I'm cool toned so it kind of works well. But, um, and I'm wearing like a dark pink lipstick right now. I'm wearing like a dark magenta lipstick at the moment. I don't know if it shows. From eye makeup it's like purple and green but it looks kind of bluish because it's kind of faded. <laughs> um, and the palette I used was a cheap one so. Where's my, my eyes? I'd used... I saw like people recommending it and also saw um, Law's video, she she said that she uses NYX, the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and I got I went and got that one off Cult Beauty because um, I didn't have any white eyeliner pencils and I didn't know what would be good to use but this NYX one's actually really good. I wish I'd have, I wish I'd have gotten it sooner, I wish I'd have known about it sooner but I didn't know, I didn't know if they'd be good or not, like I didn't know if they'd be as pigment, like some, cause some eyeliners they don't show up, some eyeliners don't work very good, like they're very streaky and don't really work, you know what I mean, and they just kind of, they kind of look really bad but these jumbo pencils are amazing, they're actually really really good, so I'm happy with that, like I'm happy with it, but yeah, this is my review um, things. I give this, I give this a nine out of ten. I give this a ten out of ten for real. It's very very nice. Oh no, my wig is getting all on it. No, bunny, my wig is getting on my baby. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. The, so, ten out of ten for this. This gets a nine out of ten. Mm, this gets a seven out of ten because I'm not like sure to do it. It's really nice. It doesn't feel like scratchy. Thankfully, it's. It's very soft lacing and it's like, feels like a very, like a, very, a nice material, like it's not, like a very soft, it's quite soft. And it's got like some lacing around here as well. So, and that's, that's really nice too, but yeah. I don't know why, I would, actually I'll probably rate the wig, so that I tell and give this the 9 out of 10. Like I like the wig, but at the same time, I did have some problems with it. So, but then again, I haven't worn the wig in a few years, so. I think it has been a couple of years since I've worn wigs, so I'm getting back into the thing of it again. I think once I get used to it, it'll be okay. Maybe my rating will change. I mean, I can't, like I said, this is just personal rating. I'm not, like, attacking. I'm not coming for anyone. I'm not coming for the says. I mean, everything came nicely. Everything was nice, but as you can see, I also have to give my cutting skills a 1 out of 10 because my cutting skills suck. Um, but I used to cut my own fringe, like when I used to do, like, my emo fringe in high school. I used to cut my own fringe, but yeah, I just, as you can see, it's just not, not very good. I could have done better. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel like I've ruined a perfectly good wig. Part of me feels regretful, but like I couldn't wear it in the full, with like the full on. Um, I did have to cut it because otherwise it would have been in my face, do you know what I mean? You always have to like cut the wigs and adjust them to your face shape, but to be fair, I. These are the kind of ones I don't know a lot about because the fringe was already a full fringe before I... I was going to make it side swept but I didn't even know how to like go about that. So I had to just like like straighten it to the side or something like that or clip it. But here we go. This is a... I will definitely be getting more wigs and trying them out but for now I'll just have this one for now and just save some money for a bit. Um, but yeah... I don't, I don't, don't hate any, I like, I like all these items, I think they're good, and they came nicely, and like I said, the handmade things especially, I really appreciate, I really like them, and I admire, anyone who can hand make things, honestly, just deserves all the respect, because I can't hand make for shit, I can't DIY for crap, <laughs> I'm terrible at that stuff, sort of thing, so, these are really well made, and it, this is very soft as well, this bag's really soft, and the bunny's really cute. <laughs> it's just, it's just adorable. How can you, how can you resist? How can you resist the, the bunny? And it has a little... So the inside, I knew it was going to be like... Oh, my fringe. Oh. <laughs> I have to do this now. Um, my fringe is kind of... 
And as I said, it's got a little bit of space at the back. Like it's got, it's got some space. It's got a little bit of space there, so you can like put a phone in it maybe, and like a really small wallet maybe. I don't know. Yeah, probably like like a really tiny, like a little coin purse, but you just shove like pounds in it. Obviously, because you you do need money to get around, and, and maybe you, you can still shove your card in there too. I think you know, because obviously. I like to bring I like to bring my car everywhere with me anyway, because I would rather have it by my side. Same thing with ID. I think it was in there. In case you need it, <laughs> and a lot of people question my age. I've had a lot of people just assume I'm a child because I'm short and petite, and because I have small hands, I get mistaken for a fucking child, and it's so annoying. I'm literally 25 years old. So like, how can I be a kid? And also, kids ain't this hot. Kids can't be hot. Kids are little aliens, okay? <sighs> Only adults can be hot, okay? That's why I don't understand. I know I'm getting into something. <laughs> That's why I don't understand people. Like, how can you think kids are hot? Ew. Like, no. Same, just anyone who's underage. Underage is not hot, okay? So you calling me a child is actually really insulting to my, to my womanhood. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've gone on. I've rambled. I've really rambled. And also, just because I like plushies and cute things, that doesn't make me childish. Like you can like cute things, and still be a mature adult. Like what's wrong with liking cute things? What's wrong with liking, like, and to be fair, the Lita is a fashion. It's it's all about high class, mate. Okay, it's all the, it's high fashion. So anyone, because no one would give an elite address to a small child. Because most elite addresses are really well made, and you wouldn't want to give that to a kid. Because now kids, they messy, and they just don't know what the hell they're doing. So you wouldn't want to give that to a child. Obviously, people who are a little bit older and responsible. Because obviously, the elite community does have like different ages, like. It's not just adults, there are teenagers um, who are into the elite as well. And obviously there are older people too who like it, who are interested in the fashion. I don't think there's really an age limit to like liking something. It's the same thing with like musical tastes. You don't have to be a certain age to like a certain music or like, or like certain makeup or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You can like anything and have hobbies. As long as you're not hurting anyone, then it really isn't anyone else's business to be, like, in your face about it, you know? No one's business to be telling you what you can and can't do. It's not like I'm going around murdering people, so, like, back off, you know? But, yeah, I... I keep getting this what I'm going to say. I'm so sorry. This video went on for 18 minutes. It could have been so much quicker. It could have been shorter. And I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to take this wig off in a minute because it's actually causing me to itch. I'm still waiting for like my special wig cap to come. I've got a special like cotton one that's really good for sensitive scalps. So I'm waiting for that one to come. I'm just using the wig cap that came with this for now. Um, and uh, like I said, I'm going to work on this. I'm probably going to straighten a little bit more and do a little bit more with it. But I'm going to use the low heat like I did. Like I started with because I don't want to damage the wig. I know that some are like really good heat resistant wigs, but like... I just want to be careful, you know. Don't want to. I don't want to ruin this this perfectly good wig. But yeah, it is a very soft, nice wig. So. But yeah, it's like I said. I'm not used to center patterns. I don't do center patterns really. I like on my normal hair. So this is different for me. I know you can do Lolita. I would like. Um, I personally would like to see more Lolita with side sweat, side sweep hair and stuff. Why does it have to be? a full fringe why does it have to be a bold like fringe why can't it be side swept or like without fringe why do you have to have a fringe you know i myself might start being one of those people who just do side swept but like i'd need a wig for it like a wig that is doesn't have a bangs on it already a fringe sorry not bangs i'm not american we don't say bangs here that just sounds dirty it just sounds really dirty to say bangs, it just sounds like you're banging someone. We don't want that, okay? You do that in your time 
in a room. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Where does this go to? Where is this even going? Anyway, I'm going to stop this video. <coughs> I've rambled way too long. And I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you for watching. I know this video probably wasn't that interesting. I'm sorry. Bye.